Uh, John is an entrepreneur, a blogger, civil rights advocate. His website, TSA, outofourpants.wordpress.com. So you can kind of get the sense of what he's about. In fact, last year he filed a lawsuit against the TSA, claiming that the agency had violated his Fourth Amendment rights. And he's filed another lawsuit on 21 additional counts, including false arrest, violating civil rights, and inflicting emotional distress and conspiracy. Uh, John, welcome to the program. Thank you. Good to be here. So uh, if I have this right, you've got a video up. Uh, you published a video showing yourself or showing how to sneak metal through the uh, Chertoff porno x-ray scanners. That's good. Tell me about it. Well, essentially, um, yeah, as you mentioned, I've been suing the TSA for about 18 months now. Uh, and things in courts happen, really, happen uh, very slowly. Um, so these, you know, in the meantime, while these courts are taking their time, people are being you know, groped every day by the TSA, uh, being forced to go through these essentially virtual scripture machines. Um, so my, my, my thought was that if we could come up with a way to show that they're ineffective, then maybe we can get rid of them a little quicker. Right. Um, so that's, that's what I did. Essentially, I took the last two months researching um, vulnerabilities in the new body scanner program. And the one that I published is pretty simple. Um, if you ever looked at any kind of X-ray, you know, these, these TSA scanners included, um, you know, kind of picture like a black background with a white subject, whether it's a broken bone or, in TSA's case, your entire body. And, right. Uh, it's a reverse image. You have that. A negative yeah. image. Um, so if you have anything with you, uh, such as, for example, a firearm, uh, and that's on top of your body in this image, it's going to show up as a black spot on the white image of your body. But if you have that same firearm on your side, it's going to be the black spot on the black background. Um, so this is no longer going to be visible. To so it would just blend into the body. background. So all you do is put the metal on, on into your clothing on the outside of your body where it would be uh, normally invisible anyway because it's shooting past your clothing and it'll just blend into the black background. Is that your point? Right. So what, what I did to test it was I took a, a, a dollar store sewing kit we put a pocket on the side of a button-down shirt, the extreme side, and place this empty metal container in it that would, you know, obviously alarm a metal detector and uh, certainly would alarm the TSA body scanner operators if they were to see it. Uh, I walked right through the scanner, both uh, in Fort Lauderdale Airport through a backscatter X-ray, as well as in uh, Cleveland uh, Hopkins International Airport through one of the TSA's newest millimeter wave devices with uh, automated threat recognition. Wow. Um, is what you did illegal? I sure hope not. <laughs> no, um, the TSA has, has uh, regulations against uh, entering the area without getting to screening, which I did, uh, right. which I did not do. Uh, right. They also have regulations against bringing prohibited objects into the secure area, uh, which I didn't do. Um, right. it, it's, it's just that the screening was not good enough to, to see the non-prohibited objects. Yeah, so, here's, so the bottom line is the old-fashioned magnetometers would have nailed you, but the Chertoff porno x-ray scanners... Uh, it, it could not see the metal that you were carrying because you were ca you you had it stitched into your clothing on the side of your body, and that's that's the area where metal is actually invisible on these porno on the X-ray porno scanners. Absolutely, you know, with with the metal detector, you could you could even put that you know, firearm inside a body cavity, and it's still going off. Um, yeah. With the the X-ray devices, that, you know, we spent about a trillion dollars on, and the TSA has right. you know, told us that these were necessary, and the, the invasions of our privacy were worth it for the safety, which is. Right. You know, even if it did provide us additional safety jobs. Plus, 100 people a year are going to get cancer, according to the TSA. Uh, you know, right. I mean, God for, have, you know, and just to imagine what's going to happen to the poor TSA workers who are standing right next to these machines all day long. That I, I feel so bad for them in a way. And I yeah, that really concerns me. But, but yeah, yeah. They, they, uh, they're prohibited from wearing dissimilars, so they, they don't know what their, what their lifetime dosage is. And, you know, it's, it's got to be a bad thing. So yeah. maybe it's, it's Darwin in action. Okay, John, you've, you've uh, done a, a fascinating uh, experiment here, and, and hopefully it'll wake some people up. Thanks a lot for being with us. Thank you. Take care. John Corbett, the website TSA out of our pants dot wordpress dot com.